so I'm gonna, so this one is real excitable. This is Opal, she, uh, she's one of the wiggle, she's got the wiggle butt syndrome. <laughs> Um, and she definitely likes to jump, she likes to put her paws on you, she likes to put her body on you, her oh, mouth, everything. So I'm going to be using the e-collar. Uh, I'm going to see if I can stick oh. her to do it a little bit so I can kind of demonstrate um, Come on, girl. the timing and uh, when I'm pressing the button and giving her a correction and you'll be able to see her response. Yeah, girl. <laughs> So I just tapped right there when, she, when her feet came up off the ground, and she went straight down. So it was hard to tell there. That may have just been because she just jumped and missed and didn't make another effort, or she could have felt the stem and made a conscious choice not to immediately jump again. Uh, so we'll try and do a couple more reps. That's a great job. That's a great job. What about me? What about me? What about me? Good. So I give a quick tap, and she didn't go down right away. So I give another tap. Good girl. the stem button um, three times and she, she's not trying anymore. Come here. Ah, ah. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, good girl. Very good, very good. So even even when I'm doing like this crazy stuff where um, her, most dogs including herself, would jump up uh, on me, she's not. She's just looking at me like I'm gonna wait till you're doing something else or you come to me. So that's exactly the response that we're looking for. And she's like, hey, I still, <laughs> I really just wanted this bone. Um, so as soon as the paws come off the ground, I'm just pressing the stem. Uh, if, if she jumps up and you know puts paws on me and gets right off, like it's just a quick tap. But if she jumps up and puts her paws on me and holds them, then I can hold stem. I'll hold stem the whole time that her paws are on me. So, uh, and, and then as soon as she goes down, I'm also being sure to give her that physical touch that she wants right now. So there's a very clear contrast between paws up, getting stim, and paws down, getting affection. So, and to work on this, I'm gonna do things that would normally trigger her to jump on me. So I was doing, you know, kind of play bow, you know, I was kind of hunching over and I was kind of doing these wiggle butt movements myself and, you know, doing this with my hands, trying to get her excited to jump up on me without inviting her to do that. I don't, I don't want to tell her up and then correct her, that's entrapment, don't do that. Uh, but doing things that would normally just get her to instinctively do that behavior, come up, try and get closer and, and touch me. So um, again, all we're, all we're doing is as soon as the paws come up, we're pressing and holding stem. Uh, whatever your normal working level is, um, obviously we're only doing this with dogs that are e-collar conditioned. If this is the first thing that you do uh, with your dog, then you can not have as clear of communication, right? Because they don't know where it's coming from, they don't know how to turn it off, they don't know what's causing it. It, it, you're likely just gonna cause confusion if they haven't been e-collar conditioned prior to doing this step. And confusion can turn into fear, which can turn into a lot of negative behaviors that you don't want, that you may not already have. So make sure that you are, have e-collar conditioned before doing this kind of exercise. Um, but once your dog's e-collar conditioned, you know kind of their baseline working level. Um, for most dogs, that's gonna be you know, between a three and a seven using the uh, Easy 900, the Easy Educator from Ecolor Tech. Um, that's kind of the average, but some dogs, some dogs are very sensitive, they can feel a one. Other dogs, you may be in the low teens before they even start to feel it. Uh, it's fine to start at your baseline working level, uh, depending on the intensity of your environment. Um, some dogs won't respond to that at all, right? So uh, if Opal's working level is a five, if we start doing this kind of thing and I'm being real excited and hopping around and she jumps up on me and I give her some communication at a level five, in that circumstance, she may not give any response to that. She may not feel it or perceive it. So you wanna be prepared to dial up in this kind of circumstance. Dial up until you get the response, right? So as soon as she goes, even if she doesn't immediately jump off, as soon as she gives you a, a different kind of uh, tick, 
or indicator that she's feeling it. Like even if it's just her head turned, she's like, oh, I'm thinking about this. What is going on here? Then she'll quickly think, okay, let me try something different. Calls will go down, this goes off. And it's like, okay, that was pretty clear. So timing is important. So uh, you wanna be giving the stim as soon as the paws come up and taking it off as soon as they go down. And praise goes on when they go on the ground. So they'll start to learn like whatever it is that, that they want, uh, attention or something you have in your hand or whatever, like they're not gonna get that if they're jumping, they're only gonna get good things when they're on the ground and we will actually come to them. Um, and I mean, for jumping, uh, it's really as simple as that for nine, nine out of 10 dogs. Hey, sugar, that's enough, good girl. Uh, it's, not that, it's not that complicated, but you, you need to have the foundation there with the e-collar, uh, sugar, that's enough, good. Um, you want to have that foundation with the e-collar being having already been conditioned. So, cool. Hopefully that helps you stop your dog from jumping all over you and your guests. <laughs>